Hello everyone and welcome to some Zero K Exhibition replays. We are starting out with a 3v3 between Israel Anarchy and Flumby against Steel Blue, India Ray, and Moj on Fairyland. A map which I don't really know why this is played for 3v3, but apparently it was. And that's how we're gonna be doing it, because that's how that's how it was played. Anyway, Southwest Side going unsurprisingly for Mostly bots. I mean, that's what you do on a map this small. And same with Northeast. I mean, this is not unusual. A little unusual that no one in the Southwest went for anything aerial. I have ex I have a feeling that Steel Blue is going to be going for air, but we have no indication of what they've got planned. Otherwise, Shield Jumpy against Rover, Amph, and Cloak. Well, that is... I'm mean, trying to think through what, what that entirely implies, but... No, just moving on to composition. And so far, early bulkhead coming in, trying to set up as Anakin and Flume be pushing forward immediately to the northwest expansions. Right into their opponent's territory, not even caring about any potential risk to their commanders. Which, to be fair, does actually exist. Snitches have been built up. Nope, Flumby, however, is just ready to set up. And Anakin's commander along with them, so. I suppose let's go. Snitch over gets wasted against... Is that a dart? Yes, it was. It was wasted against a dart. That was a useful way of getting rid of that snitch. Stranikin and Flumby so far doing quite a lot of work for, with this rush. There's take of the metal extractors. They are getting countered a bit by Bandit and Rogue, but that's not looking like it's going to have too strong of an effect. Bulkhead... Bulkhead coming in just to hold the line. That's really all it's for. Bulkhead Fencer. I'm not sure why Bulkhead and Fencer. I feel like they're they kind of overlap in their role. I don't know why you'd have both, but we do. I suppose just have different ones in different places. I mean, Bulkhead is really more of a siege unit. Like it's meant more for taking down buildings. It's not, or maybe heavier units, but it's not really useful in early game when you have all these bandits and just raiders in general. I mean, the fact is, this is 3v3, so there are fewer raiders than there normally would be in 1v1, but it's still a lot of raiders for what the bulkhead can deal with. But hey, I guess throw it out there and see if you can find something stationary to hit. If nothing, you are fighting against shield bots, which means you have to, you are fighting against, oh, looks like still blue one for spiders. You're fighting against shield bots, which means that you're fighting against a factory that does have shields, which are a very, very large target. So it does actually kind of work out in theory. Speaking of though, these widows are coming in there looking pretty scary. Anarchist and Flumby's commander is. Anarchist and Flumby's commander are going to be quite threatened. I swear I can conjugate. But they are. They are the main target. I mean, that's the whole point of these, these widows being here. And I have a feeling Flumby is somewhat aware that they exist. Just given how they've been moving around all of these forces, all the bulkheads. I have a feeling there's some awareness of their existence, but they haven't really been dealt with too much. At the same time, Bandit's coming in, looking to find, maybe to get take out a factory. The bulkhead's not going to be able to do too much against them. Contra trying to be built up, not able to come out. Glaive's coming in as a bit of a defensive system, but it's not going to be enough to save the Mason if they're... N oh, never mind, it is. Forced to retreat. Let's see, if they're not fast enough, but no, the bandits aren't going for a suicide approach on the mason. They just want to deal some damage, which admittedly does still slow down expansion. Same time over to the north. Widows do go out. Anarchist commander under some fire. The bandits, however, are not nearly enough to deal with this. And the glaives are coming in to help defend, so that is going to be fine. Anarchist commander will survive. No real threat, all things considered. And now, of course, the idea that the Widows is here is something to be watched out for. I and mean, Anarchid knows. Oh, hey, there are Widows! Actually, all the Southwest team knows. There are Widows. Everyone there knows. They gotta worry about that. Not that they weren't really before. I mean, Flimby and Anarchid, it seemed like their commanders were operating in a way that implied they already knew. But that's the thing. And also, Skittle. I mean, Scuttle. Nah, I think Skittle's a better name. I propose we rename it to Skittle. The jump bot Skittle. Taste the pain bow. Flumby is going to be fine. Actually, okay, well, uh, Skittle gets rid of the two 
stingers. They don't actually manage to get rid of the commander, but getting rid of the stingers is still... That's still helpful. I mean, that will make it easier for some of the heavier units to push into the base there, though i not sure how much use how much use it'll actually have. Commander coming in, and that's definitely the use, and the Widow comes in around the side, having dropped the Stinger, actually. That is enough. The Bulkhead's able to help out, pushing against India Ray's commander. But it's not nearly enough. What is enough, however, is all the Glaives coming in afterwards. Flumby's commander under some fire, but Archer's coming in here. Should be able to stop the Pyro. Glaive's trying to find some room to get in here. A little scared of getting too close to the pyro. They don't want to be just, just all killed immediately, but it doesn't matter now. Flumby's commander is going to be able to jump away. There we go. He's like, is going to be able to jump away. They can jump, but they don't have a whole lot to jump to. Still Glaive's coming into cover. He's right, just making sure that's safe. The expansion has been lost, but the commanders have survived. So, it's not the worst thing in the world. The expansion, they're attempting to reclaim it. They actually might be able to hold on to it, but I i seriously doubt it, as there is actually quite real reclaim coming in from India Ray. Although, to be fair, that's also what's giving the Northeast team the economy at parity they have with Southwest. That that reclaim is really important. If India Ray's commander starts getting pushed out, then Northeast team is going to start falling behind. They've already fallen behind in attrition. They're likely behind overall in army value, so they've got to be careful. And Flumby is not letting this go without a fight. Same time, though, no more Widows are forthcoming. It's a switch over to Crab. At the same time, there might be some need for... Really? I don't know why they didn't go for Fleas. I think it might be some need for something to actually, you know, deal with all these slings. Oh, the Fleas wouldn't be the best option there. Recklesses would be a good option, though. But we're not seeing those, either. But I'm not entirely sure what exactly the idea is here for this, uh, the Northeast team. It seems like... They're really not sure what to build to actually deal with this. They got pyros, which I think are an okay choice, but otherwise, it just feels like there's not really a whole lot of thought on what to actually do to break through all these bulkheads and break through all the make through all the fencers and break through everything else that's been built up here. India Ray's commander has been forced to ret well hasn't forced to build up the crab spire has not been forced to retreat though. And that is what Southwest team would have wanted. However, they have been forced to stop building Reclaim. Or, sorry, forced to stop Reclaiming. Which means they are actually still going to be behind economically. Same time, despite the best efforts of a few snitches, this is not going to be a stopped approach. This raid is happening. It is going in. It is unsuccessful regardless because the Redbacks were able to stop it. But it was a thing that happened. So that's a thing that happened. Oh, he's inside of the map. Israel's commander gets skittled. And that is going to slow down the eastern push, but not honestly all that much. That is kind of it. Flumby able to hold the western side just fine. Israel, unfortunately, without their commander, can't easily build up more static defenses, but there's... I mean, they have fencers there. They have, those are just pickets on wheels. They're fine. It's the center that's open, as we're seeing Northeast team taking full advantage of this. The center has no defenses whatsoever. India Ray just walking all of these bandits in here because nothing is stopping them. Surprisingly, no one set up anything to stop the bandits. There's a few claws, but that's about it. The bulkhead's trying his best. Not really able to do too much, and that is looking pretty grim. I mean, the bandits coming in here, the Dominatrix is going to help a little bit, but really that's not going to matter all that much. Especially as it becomes a target of the bandits' interest. One of the Wolverines goes down, second Wolverine, or not Wolverine, Badger. Second Badger is going to go down. They were called Wolverines. Second Badger goes down, Anarchist Commander able to catch up, though, as are a few Reavers, and that will stop the bandit push. I should provide a nice little bit of reclaim, too. 836 reclaim across the board. So that center approach was stuffed. Same time, though, India Ray continuing to be able to reclaim without really anything getting in the way. And the eastern side of the map, this is not holding. Firewalker being built up to just get rid of all the slings. Again, nothing can build up more static defenses or really repair. So at this point, this eastern side of the map is kind of living on borrowed time. 
And at the same time, the Northwest being wiped out by recluses. I mean, redbacks. The wiped out by redbacks. Who just don't care. We're going to come in here. We'll be able to get rid of the conch. We'll be able to get rid of the stardust. Should be able to get rid of the mason as well. And that Northwest is gone. Oh. Huh. Indy Ray worried about the crab being stolen by Dominatrix, even though the Dominatrix is nowhere near there at all. In fact, where is the Oh yeah, it's dead. I mean, they're building another one, so they're... It's a, it's a threat. And it's actually kind of funny that that is the threat they were worried about. I guess they... I mean, they considered that possibility and decided it was just too much to worry about, so yeah. That opens things up. The, north, the western side is open back up for the southwest team, but the eastern side... No, it's gradually falling. The Sling's doing their best, but they are just not able to hit anything accurately enough. Impaler is trying. But again, it's struggling. Same time, those scythes... Where is this scythe going? It's just hanging out. Same time, though, we have a nice little cloak field off Conjurer scouting out, seeing the crab has been removed. So now that I know the western side of the map is completely open. But that may not matter. The eastern side of the map being wiped out pretty quickly. Bandits coming in again. They are just able to start slowly breaking down. That's the thing. The bandits come in after the firewalkers have already softened everything up. But the firewalkers slowly coming in. The bandits able to see what's been built up. What they have to deal with. And that scythe can't do much to actually stomp their push. So that eastern side just gradually being taken out. The Redbacks apparently having completed their trip around the map. Not finding a whole lot of... Not finding a whole el lot else they can actually take out, though. There's way too much in the way of static defenses being built up for this. Imp coming in. Gets completely diffused. Ooh. Widow gets completely stopped, however. Or at least gets spotted. Doesn't get stuffed. The scythe isn't able to kill it in time, but... Still, that Widow has been spotted and is forced to retreat. Seems to have given some confidence over to Izzerai, who's pushing forward, trying to get rid of all these forces. If they get rid of the, if they get rid of the Firewalker, that is huge. There is no second Firewalker here. That Firewalker's gone. That is going to make it a lot easier for Izzerai to push through on the eastern side of the map. Though again, more bandits coming into the Ampod Factory, and it is looking dire. There is nothing here to defend. Anarchist Commander will not be here in time. That Ampod Factory is done. So it took only it took 11 minutes, but the bandits finally managed to take out that factory before well before being reduced to scrap thanks to those lo those rippers. But they did their job. They got rid of the factory. However, it's not over. I mean. Cloak White Plate was up, so Flumby can still build things, but yeah, having lost the Anarchid Factory, I mean the Anarchid Factory, the An Amphib Factory, what's in the Anarchid Factory? Anarchid's playing with the Rovers. Having lost the Ampod Factory, they are going to be forced to build more Cloak Pots, but I mean, all it really means is they can't get bulkheads, which, I mean, okay, they've been somewhat handy, but, yeah, I don't know, they feel like they've been not really providing all that much actual help, so I, I don't expect it to make a big difference. Considering that they're how much they have on the front lines, though, yeah, this is what really matters. Although, I guess, to be fair, the bulkheads were still somewhat useful as a defensive option. They're just... They were just countered pretty thoroughly. And despite the best efforts of in, of Izzeride, this eastern side is still taken out. India Ray and Molish still able to grab all that reclaim. It looks like another push of bandits going down the center. That is not going to be stopped by these Stardusts if they're if they move now. However, they have been spotted. The Glaives will be coming in to intercept. I don't know if it'll be enough, though. Blimby's commander forced to retreat off the northwest as well, so the entire... So this half the map, or this, yeah, half the map from the corners to the corners is... That is entirely going over the northeast team. Despite the early rush by the southwest team, the northeast team has just been able to completely retake everything and continue to push in. Man, it's will not be able to stop that Stardust from being constructed. They will, however, be able to get rid of a lot of these slings. And I mean, if they can break open this eastern side of the map, that is going to be basically it. The northeast team will have their opening. They'll be able to come in through the sides. 
and just break all these expansions, break everything that's been built up that's mobile to defend, and then come through the ramp and probably take out the main base. I mean, that is that has been the approach angle for the Northeast team this entire game. Has been to take out the eastern side of the map and push from there. The western side has fallen, but that took a lot longer and required a lot more effort and really hasn't been the primary angle of attack. But now there's really not a whole lot defending over in the eastern side of the map, and that is going to leave everything open. Crab coming in. Should be able to help out. Ooh, moderators. Good choice. We'll be able to help out and get rid of all the imps coming in. That has been a tactic of choice. Actually, not just the imps, the dominatrix as well. Almost the dominatrix more so, really. I mean, they don't get one shot, but still, two shot by moderator, that's significant. And the other and whatever doesn't get killed gets slow to a crawl. See, so yeah, those dominatrices really don't have much of a chance. They're certainly gonna try, but there's far too many units just set up to de deal with them. It's not it's not that simple to work with. Not simple to counter, but what is simple is getting... Oh, what should be simple, actually, is getting rid of that Geo Plant, but it doesn't seem to be as simple as it looked. Still, though, red back for treating, regrouping, and that Geothermal Generator is over. It's gone down. That should... Actually, that doesn't completely kill off the power generation. Ah. A lot of wind that's working out pretty well for them. All on the last, though, is probably on the order of seconds. As there is the resign vote coming in already. And there it is. Throwing in the towel. After a very aggressive rush strategy from the beginning. Northwest team. as the Northeast team takes it. Countering that rush. Able to take their territory back. And then push from there. And considering the army value was at a disadvantage most of the game. That was basically just being clever about where they went. As you can see, the metal income was always kind of less for the Northeast team. They just eventually got an attrition advantage. And as soon as they did, they got the armor Valley going in their favor. I Pretty much as soon as they decided to go after the eastern side of the map, killing Israelite's commander was really the turning point. Like, scuttling that, opening everything up because the stack defenses couldn't be rebuilt, so they could slowly whittle away at the eastern side of the map. The western side of the map was well enough protected they couldn't really do that on its own, but the eastern side of the map got fully vulnerable after that point. And then it was just a matter of time, because nothing really came in to counter that. Not to mention the bandits coming in repeatedly. That eventually did lead to the Ampot factory being destroyed, which was, I think, more of a morale blow than anything else, but still, the damage that was dealt there did also kind of reduce some of the territory that was held at the front, which meant the bandits had a bit more room to start moving around, and then eventually... You know, flanking the eastern side on the on the southwest half of the map. And there we go. So that was that. So anyway, the next match is going to be a 3v3 on Living Lands. So stay tuned for that. It'll be up in just a few minutes.